Hello there morons, it's Victor back again with the third in our mini-series of Winter Kanji. Today's Kanji is one of the most basic, and you've probably seen it around. It's a four-stroke Kanji, and the meaning is very similar to the actual shape. As you can see, it looks like a tree, and it is a tree. It's a four-stroke Kanji, so let's do it again, this time counting. We start horizontally, one, then vertically, two, and then from the left, three, and then the right, four. Pretty simple kanji. Four strokes in Japanese is yon kaku. Now you may notice that this kanji appears in slightly smaller forms in other kanji. When that happens, we call that a radical or a bushu. And radicals, or studying radicals, helps you understand the meaning, often the pronunciation, and you will see that it is a very useful way to look up the kanji when you use a kanji dictionary. Now, while some kanji are also radicals, some are just radicals, some of these shapes are just radicals, here is a group of mixed radicals, some of them are kanji and radicals. Some are just radicals. As you study kanji, you'll soon figure out which is which. Now let's get back to today's kanji. Today's kanji, of course, is tree. It has two onyomi pronunciations, boku and moku, the on reading or onyomi. And the kunyomi reading is ki or ko, though ko is fairly rare. Here are some examples. We have, of course, Mokuyobi, which is Thursday. Mokuzo, which is wood. Mokuzo no, adding no is similar to apostrophe s, and that means wooden. Ueki, potted plant or garden plant. And konoha, or foliage. Now, this particular kanji, ki, or tree, is also a radical and if you look closely at this random group of kanji you can see the kanji as a radical in these kanji as just one section look closely and see if you can find the key sometimes appearing more than once in this group of kanji and that just about does it for today's mini kanji lesson i hope this Kanji gave you some wood, and you remember it well. Please help out by rating, commenting, etc., etc. I'll be back soon with another one. Take care.